What is going on ladies and gentlemen today we have some adventure quest three dimensional news Oh, you can jump off there. <laughs> okay Um, a lot of people have been asking why I've been posting so much adventure quest 3d uh, content on my channel Oh look we can see through our helmet <laughs> um I've been enjoying the AQ3D after I after you get through the first few areas of the game and you get to the part where you start doing actual dungeons uh, where the dungeons I think are where the end game and where uh, a lot of people are going to be spending a lot of their time Oh that noise where a lot of people are going to be spending a lot of their time in this game is uh, doing the dungeons and stuff like that so I'd recommend that if you didn't like the game for the first few areas just grind through the first few areas uh, don't really even pay attention to them because honestly they need to change they're pretty horrible at this point and they're super repetitive if they could just give you more xp and less quests in the beginning areas to get you to those dungeons that would probably help out the game a lot in my opinion but i, I don't know i'm not a game dev although i do play a lot of video games so um if you don't like the game so far i would highly recommend getting to about level six or seven to where you get to the dungeons and trying those out uh but uh we're not here to talk about the game itself we're here well well i guess we are we're talking about the new updates coming to the game in the future so let's get into adventure quest 3d news oh they really need to change the sounds in adventure quest 3d too oh my god hearing that oh that makes me like cringe every time i hear that sound it's just so oh i hate it so much so if you haven't been around for a little bit uh apple release uh you can now play adventure quest 3d on your ios device your ipad your ipod your i uh iphone your i dog i don't know what how many i devices there are but if you have one you should be able to play adventure quest 3d on one now so uh check that out uh, it's free to download free to play well and yeah unless you want more inventory space then, then pay some money or right, um they addressed some bugs and a few other things on the design notes here along with uh, some issues people are having and here's the little 15 thing so people uh think that it takes a long time to level up in the current game uh the huge xp gap between 14 and 15 uh that's not a mistake it's actually intentional it's to keep you playing the game of course because if you get the level cap and there's nothing to do then you're gonna stop playing the game and if there's no players playing an MMO then no one plays no one no new players play the MMO because there's no players playing it so if no one's playing an MMO an MMO does not work that's basically what I'm trying to say so they have to keep you playing and uh, that they do that by making the XP uh, difference huge so because they're there's not a lot of content in the game at the moment so I guess grinding mobs is uh, what you do at the late game at the moment so uh, and once people hit 15 they're actually going to increase the cap to 16 and after that they will raise it to a new level so they're going to keep increasing the cap as soon as a bunch of people hit it so if you're at 15 right now uh, then you're gonna you're gonna have to grind to 16 and then 17 18 19 probably up to 100 maybe on beyond that so what i really want to talk about though is mulgoween so I think we got a set of armor released today that we've never seen before. But if you look at this picture, it shows off like that's probably going to be a boss. That's an armor set you can have and maybe even a boss too. Uh, there's some ghosts in this picture and uh, some little, uh, what do you call those things again? Little goblins, I guess. I don't know. They're goblins with like skeleton costumes on and a warlock. I don't know what that is. So it looks like something from, uh, what's that game? Uh, where, uh, f not Final Fantasy, the one with the Disney characters. I, it's escaping my mind, but it looks like a like a uh, enemy from that game Kingdom Hearts. That's it. That's it. it looks like a Kingdom Hearts enemy um, So it goes through a few of the details and Here's what I actually want to show so we have a new staff in the game and a new armor set So the helmet looks very different for males and females I don't know why it looks that much different because that would look okay on a female uh, character, I don't know why the top hat's so tiny on the I wish there was like two versions for both female and male, a tiny version for female, tiny version for male, and then a big version for male and a big version for female. But I guess they're going with a tiny version for female. I don't I don't see why. I would like a bigger top hat. I have a female character in Adventure Quest 3D. It makes no sense. And also the armor looks very odd on the male character. But other than that, I like the set as a female set. It looks good. 
Um, the same with the witch. It's very different for the female. Well, not very different. Well, I guess the coloring is different. Yeah, so it's pretty different for female and male, but we've seen these armors before and they look really nice. And there is the in-game armor on Cesaro. Uh, looks very cool and a bunch of people are probably going to have this sword running around with it. Um, this content isn't level cap content. I think it's like mid-level content, like level... I think it's around, it'll probably, they're not going to make it so only level cap people can play it because it just went open beta and there's a bunch of new people playing. So this isn't going to be end game content, it's probably going to be like level between 6 to 10 probably, that level area. So if you're around there, you should be fine to play the event, especially if you have uh, people to play it with to help you out. So that is about what I want to show. Um, so the game is out on iOS, Mongoween is tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for Mulgoween. I'm going to be streaming that on my channel tomorrow. So I'll see you guys there. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to say. Um, uh, let, me, let me find it. Okay, so they addressed the open beta thing. So I didn't think they were going to address this, honestly, but they did. So um, why did we decide to go into open beta at this stage? There are few reasons. The main one is that we have always done things this way and it's worked out for us. Is it professional? No. Not at all. Like, at all. <laughs> Showing off an unfinished game to the general public means a lot of negative reviews. I removed my negative review after playing the game more. Um, I, a lot of those points in my review I left on Steam still stand. Uh, I'll make a video review of the game once I hit level cap, once I play the game a few for, for 100 plus hours, I'll make a review then. Uh, but a lot of people say, okay, so for most games, when they go into open beta, that means your base game is finished. Like, uh, so Battlefield or, well, that's a AAA game, but li like even a game like Dirty Bomb, which isn't really that big of a AAA game, uh, when it goes into open beta, that means the base game is finished. You have your, all the areas are finished, all the items are finished uh, for the base game. In Adventure Quest 3D, that is not the case, and they 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 uh they acknowledge that, which I like. Uh, I like that they acknowledged it. Uh, that they're not going crazy or anything over there at Arctic Entertainment. So, and and they a lot of negative reviews, and they say that a lot of positive reviews, uh, even though the positive reviews are based on the game's potential. So, uh, they're basically saying that they're getting a lot of negative reviews, and they're warranted, but and their positive reviews mean are just based off the potential so they know that the game's unfinished and they know that they have a lot of work to do on it which is good i'm glad that they acknowledge that they don't acknowledge the narco transactions at all here which i really don't like but uh i don't i think they're gonna keep the microtransactions and i will never pro i will never the current microtransactions in the game i will never uh agree with or like and i probably won't spend any money on this game ever until uh, they changed them, which means I might not ever spend money on AQ3D. I might play this game for years and not spend money on it, but that is my choice. So, um, they acknowledged that the game is in very early, uh, very early stages. So, I just wanted to point that out uh, to people that did not read the sign notes for AQ3D. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I will see you guys all tomorrow. We'll be playing through the Mulgaween update. Not a lot of AQ3D news today but some good stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow all my social media links in the description, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Uh, I stream on Twitch sometimes. I post all the videos to Facebook and Twitter is where I talk about dumb shit and also post videos and tell you when I'm streaming there. So if you want to follow me there, go ahead and do so. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, click the top right corner for the last video I uploaded. Bye. Oh,